Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be doing a video re on a review of two movies that came out. First is Ghostbusters of Frozen Apex. The second one will be Godzilla x Kong A New Apex. Strange how their names are so similar. But anyways, so the Ghostbusters movie I watched in theaters with my um, sister and my dad. I liked the movie. It was pretty good. It wasn't the greatest Ghostbusters movie ever. I mean, there were certain parts that I didn't like, and there was a few parts I did like. I noticed that the movie was kind of, um, how do I put this? It was nostalgia bait as I saw it. That's what it was to me. There were certain parts that I liked. There were certain jokes that I liked, and here is the joke right now. Heads up! It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. If there's something strange, if there's something weird, who are people gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. I really hated that joke. I didn't. It made me put my head down. And think about why did they do that? Why did they, why did he have to say that? It made no sense to me. But the movie was good. It it wasn't the greatest, but it, it was good. There were certain parts that weren't the best. It does have its flaws. I mean, let's just talk about the main character. In my opinion, I don't like the main character. She was good in the last movie. Like, every character was good in the last movie. Ghostbusters Afterlife. But this new one, the new one, it just, it's not good. I mean, the main character also, side note, not really important to the story, but the main character, I noticed that she acts gay. Like, I think she's gay. I think the character is gay. Now, I have nothing against gay people. My sister is gay, but it's just something I noticed. But yeah. I have to say, I like the villain. His story, his design, it's really good. I like the original Ghostbusters in it too. I mean, it could be better. The movie could be better, but it does have... It's good. I like it. That's pretty much what I rate it. I'd rate it like, um, let's say a 6. Because though it is good... It could be better. I like when they use some from some scenes from the original movie. I mean, they used the original ghost, like the first ghost that the Ghostbusters ever caught in a certain scene, which I thought was really creative. They used the library. There, there was a lot to it. They even used the lion. Of course, it didn't really do much in the original film, but it was just there. They used as a landmark. They bought the original house. Well, not a house. It's a fire fire station. And there was um, a line in the movie that actually said, we didn't buy the firehouse for nostalgia. Yeah, the story, well, was a bit flawed. I love this part. When Slimer comes out, I thought he was great. Would have been better if, it, if he was in the last movie. And here's a video of something. So ahead of Godzilla vs Kong's release date, I put a poll out asking which movie you wanted me to compare it to. And to my surprise, the results were overwhelmingly the original King Kong vs Godzilla from 1962. So, alright then, you asked for it and you're gonna get it. It's time to compare Godzilla vs Kong to King Kong vs Godzilla. Let the battle commence. The video I just showed you is from a channel called Eric Carter. Great channel, love his content. Now. Since I'm done with the Ghostbusters review, even though I didn't really do much, because the movie didn't really have much to talk about, now it's on to the good stuff. Godzilla x Kong A New Apex. Now, this movie, I loved it. I loved every part of it. I mean, Kong's entrance into the world, it was great. Godzilla, great. Even the Scar King, who is a new villain in the story, is really good. Everything about it is great. I love the visuals. I love everything about it. Kong just looks great. 
I'm not much of a Kong fan. I mean, I like King Kong, but I wouldn't say I'm a fan of him. But he's good. He's really good. Of course, which movie I prefer? I prefer Godzilla vs. Kong, although this one has more action and more monsters fights in it, but it's still good. Humans still do not care at all. Nobody ever cares about them. But Godzilla, I thought he looked great. Kong looks great. I will say, when Kong goes into the subterranean world of the giant apes and meets the Scar King for the first time, it was fantastic. Also, there was a tiny Kong, like a little baby Kong. It made no sense to me. Well, I mean, it did, but he kind of did nothing. He was just there. He's a bit of a brat in the beginning of the movie, if you think about it. Also, yeah, the little girl from the last movie apparently hold a lot better role. Also, Godzilla's entrance looked great. Like, look at him. He's, he's big. He's pink. Okay. And the Scar King, he was good. I'm going to talk about um, Godzilla being pink in a little bit, but... First, just look at him. He's so cool. I mean, his little whip. and But yeah, I'm going to talk about Godzilla being pink for a bit. Now, I don't like pink. What version do I prefer? I prefer Godzilla being blue. I'm just going to say that. I like him being blue. I hate pink. Don't ask why. I can't answer that. I just never liked pink. I just never liked the color. And apparently there were a lot of people who said that they hated Godzilla with pink. I don't know. It might not be true, but I heard that there are people who hated Godzilla being pink, saying that it's a girl color. I saw it in the movie, and I was like, it's perfectly fine. He's great being pink. I can accept him being pink. Like, that's what I think. By the way, little tangent, when Kong got his arm bracelet... Like, his gauntlet, it looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. When I saw, like, the toys of it, he... I honestly thought he lost his arm and got a prosthetic arm. Because I went to a toy store in, in a city. I'm not saying the city, but... It was a place. It had a toy, a giant Kong toy, and I wanted it. But it was $40. No, it was... It was $70, but still big. Yeah, Godzilla being blue, I like him being blue. Him pink, I'm perfectly fine. I can accept that. I believe it was in, um, which movie was it? I think it was Godzilla 2000, I might be wrong, where Godzilla was had pink spines and he was green. People liked that, but I don't know. It could just be all one big lie. I, I don't get the futuristic technology in the movie, though. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. It does make sense, sort of. Also, spoiler, Mothra showed up in the movie, and she was good. I mean, she didn't really show up much in the film. She was just there, I guess. But yeah, also, you know, this movie isn't really Godzilla fighting Kong or Kong fighting Godzilla. This is more of Godzilla and Kong teaming up to face off Scar King. And when I pulled out Shima, the giant frost thing, my friend, who was watching it with me, actually said, it's like Godzilla just shoots ice instead of an atomic breath. But, and I'm like, yeah, true, kind of is. Yeah. Scar King, great villain. Not, not the best villain, but I feel like he's good, by the way. There is this funny moment in the film, and it's going to pop up on screen right about now. It was hilarious. When I watched Kong just punch him in the face and, like, knock his tooth out, that was awesome. Also, Godzilla just blowing up like a bomb right there. It was great. Everything about this movie was great. I would say... But yeah, look at this gauntlet. It kind of looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. This fight in the city was great. It could have been better, but when I saw Godzilla and Kong running together, it was magical. He won't be alone. And while this part was just epic,
Sorry that there's not much for me to talk about with, um, Ghostbusters Frozen Apex. It was good, granted, but there's not much for me to talk about in terms to Godzilla X Kong A New Apex, where it had a lot of stuff for me to talk about, where I could actually enjoy the film. I enjoyed both of these movies, but it's a clear winner of who I think had the better movie. Both of these movies are good, but I prefer one over the other. I'd still watch both, and I'd recommend you watch them for yourself in order to get a good explanation on which one you think is better. That is it. Goodbye.